What's up, everybody? Daquan Washington here, Aaron Poner, and I'm gonna interview him because he has like a unique perspective on pornography. I think it's probably something that people are really afraid to talk about, and I'm willing to talk about it with him. And because I know a lot of people, they got thoughts, right? And I know people probably want to ask me questions, but they're probably afraid because they don't want to expose themselves. But like, so I'll kind of be like their voice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, like, what got you into like the whole destroying the porn industry? Like, what what brought you to that point? So I, it all started with just me, like thinking about like or experiencing like I got into pornography and masturbation when I was younger. I actually just masturbation and and I was like. You know, I wasn't really into pornography, and I, but I, I was like, I had a passion for sharing about masturbation, and then I found out like a lot of people struggled with both. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a YouTube channel on it. So I started to make a YouTube channel on it. It kind of got gained some traction. Then I made a website on it, launched that, got a couple blog posts that were getting a decent amount of views. You know, spelled pornography and masturbation wrong. That way, people would actually go to it and it got ranked really good actually and so I started gaining traffic on there and I actually seen that what, why, <laughs> why did you spell it wrong oh because it it uh, people spell it wrong so I type in I'll be like how to stop master and then people spell it like so many different ways they have no idea how to spell it most people so I just spell it the way it's, it's suggested on YouTube. Yeah, I remember that. Like someone, <laughs> someone said it, commented like, this is spelled wrong. Yeah. Or whatever, but yeah, Dang, that's interesting. So get to get them views. Yeah. <laughs> so I, dude, that's real interesting. Cause like you were saying that masturbation and looking at pornography, you were struggling with the masturbation part. Mm -hmm. So I got a question for you because when you say struggle or like, you know, you're battling with it or whatever, what is wrong with it? Like in your mind, they, it's a struggle. Other people don't think that they're struggling with porn or mm -hmm. struggling with masturbation. Like, why is it a struggle? Are you talking about masturbation or pornography or both or? Yeah, I, either way, yeah, Okay. both. Yeah, well, there, most people, first of all, most people think masturbation's okay. And even people that, even professionals don't, a lot of professionals don't even believe that pornography addiction is even an, an addiction or masturbation because they don't take into account the pornography with alongside the masturbation, if that makes sense. So, so that's first of all what, so that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, they, they've been doing it for years, it's not a problem, but with high speed internet and masturbation, that's a huge problem because it, First of all, it overstimulates your dopamine receptors and it causes you to feel really good. And then with feeling really good, you feel really down afterwards. And I like experienced, yes, exactly. And also it lowers your energy levels. Like I felt, I was lazy when I was masturbating, like using all that energy, like there's so many, so much nutrition, so much in that, in that seed, you know? And so, wow. Yeah. So like, that's crazy. How does it? Oh well, because the dopamine. It's it, It's like doing a drug. I, I've never done any drugs, so I heard somebody say that like doing uh, meth is more addicting than having sex. <laughs> Wait, doing meth is more addicting than having sex? You said? I heard or someone say something like that. I don't know. That's something well, I popped in my mind. But uh, well, I mean, well, I think it's the opposite because. More sex is probably more well because well, like, yeah, doing the real thing is probably even worse than actual porn. I don't know. Well, no, actually, pornography is worse because pornography even so pornography is like a unrealistic version of sex. So it like okay. it literally is higher dopamine levels than sex because you're literally. It, I don't want to get too graphic on it, but pornography is is just overstimulating your brain. It's it, sex is a natural human thing. 
in uh, I believe in marriage, obviously, but sex is a natural thing. But yeah. with high speed internet, think about it. Like you would uh, think about two thousand years ago when you know in the Bible times or whatever. Like people would probably not see a hundred naked bodies in a, in a in a century or you, you know in their whole lifetime. But we're seeing them multiple times a day tons, yeah, yeah wow. and think yeah, about that and also like detail in detail it's it's crazy bro dude i have never thought of that <laughs> wow that's interesting bro that would make sense you're seeing tons wow because like most people they have probably only seen their spouse and that's it or yeah like whoever else they've been with but yes like then you get like hundreds and hundreds of women or even men if you're into that kind of stuff but <laughs> like wow okay so here's a question that i know for sure people have because like i know that you you believe in god and so do i and like in someone's point of view they'll be like this okay get all this dopamine okay maybe you feel lazy maybe like all these different things that you're talking about but someone yet still someone be like but what's wrong with that you know what I mean? More of like morally. Okay. What's wrong with it? Well, I think one thing is, do you are you you're viewing uh, women as an object or men as an object? You're literally looking at it just to please yourself. Think about how selfish that is. Just looking like, and those people behind the scenes are actually taking uh, most nine. You know, a big percentage of them are taking drugs, and they they have to continually like. Do that that's their job and most of them are on drugs and it's just but the thing that's wrong with it i think is just the unrealistic like you're literally looking at somebody that's not happy i i promise you that and they're just and you're trying to fulfill yourself with that with you know what i mean it's just yeah. and yeah yeah so that, that makes sense that's a good point about how you're looking down on a person really like as an object not yes. as not as like just another soul mm -hmm. that you can have like a relationship with it's more of a you're a sex object yeah and even if it because i agree with that even if it's just like on images like the people behind it that are actually in the videos and stuff like that like they're, they're turning sex into it's not even it's not an intimate thing at that point it's just oh it's public everybody yeah just come and look at what we're doing we're making money doing this too it's not it's it's not seen as like a precious thing yes um you agree with that like, yes yeah. definitely that's yeah, that's good yeah so like, what do you think about that well yeah so obviously like I, I yeah like we were saying before i believe in god you believe in god and and it's, sex is so intimate and and when you distort it like that, as you were saying, yeah, it's just, it's literally taking the intimacy out of it. It's just literally like, I mean, and also, you know, it, think about duct tape, you know, once you stick it together once, you tear it apart, it gets less sticky, you know what I mean? And that's the same thing with people, like, the, if, if people wait till marriage, like, they're gonna be, if they wait to have sex till marriage, their sex is gonna be so much better than the people that have had sex 10 times with a bunch or, you know, a bunch of different times because that connection is only meant to be with one person, not multiple times and, and it wears out, you know what I mean? Is that stickiness wears out, if that makes sense. And the, that connection is, is supposed to be just, yeah. yeah. Here's one thing, like, I know that people probably be like, who's this young guy? He's talking about marriages and all this stuff. Like, I don't think that it takes a genius to know that that can destroy your life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, people think you gotta be like, have all this life experience to talk about the things you're talking about. But no, like, you're going off of like research, some experience, and yeah, your, your research. And like, I think that's, that's really awesome and I appreciate like what you're doing. So another question would be how, once somebody's been in 
because you know you hear about people who oh i do it one time a day two times a day three times a day five times a day like dude i think i heard about a, st <laughs> a story about some kid who i forget the number but it was like he like did it like 17 times in one day and i think he died like that wow so anyways what would you say to somebody who they repetitively doing it over and over again how the heck did they get out of it well yeah you have to understand there's levels to it so if if you're in that deep stage in that which we call levels you know four five and six and that's where you're just you're the, you're in it so yeah the levels are level one is three to four times a year you know a handful of times if you can count on your time on your hand how many times you've watched pornography in the last a year then on one hand then that's level one level two is about less than 10 uh, 10 times about 10 times and you about once a month and then level three is like is at least once a month and then level four is once a week or, or more and then i believe level five i don't have these exact this exact sign like this exactly down but i know level five and six are dangerous levels for the fact that they're doing it they have to have it they rely on it every day you know and if to the point where if you watch it every day you're you're gonna get you are going to watch things that are more extreme and more extreme because your brain craves novelty you know when you watch what just does that mean? Novel novelties is something new so oh yeah you're uh, so the more so if you watch something if you've ever been involved in it in pornography and watching pornography you know that if you're in it at least once a day or once a day or more you're escalating to higher extremes of pornography and there's and only a screen can do so much once you're you know in that and a lot of people actually i've heard uh i've there's my, one friend of mine has gotten to level six and he sought out escorts and he sought out prostitutes and he was like this pornography isn't enough he he escorts. literally escorts yeah prostitutes oh, okay and he literally was at a he was very good with it and he knew how to get the very uh graphic stuff like it was actually more than hd and and then he like once he moved on from that webcams all this stuff then he moved on to prostitutes and then if he didn't stop him if he didn't stop there he could have been more than hd so there's and you know 4k right yeah and like, three, yeah, no, yeah. No, so there's you know how it it's not as it's so it's very clear versus like very crisp and clear like next level clearness and it's it it stimulates the brain more is my point yeah, so yeah, it's exactly. and then once you pass that you it, it's progressive bro and it's uh and it, yeah so wow and then you said that so uh, how's he now he's actually scaled back to level three to four he's very he's he doesn't do it he does it uh, like once a week but it's not to the point uh, where he was and he but he still has to have that that extreme level of the very crisp and clearness as far as like 4k or more and i don't know much about like it stuff i don't know how to hack and all like he did but pretty crazy stuff like wow yeah so but that once you get to that point it's really hard to come back you you once you get to five and six there's no coming back on your own and, and not, uh, like that you have to get help like perf like it, whether it's you know mentor or like it's very hard to come back completely to zero to love like to not watching it at all yeah. from five and six so it's it's very yeah. so um wow i've never heard of that but wow that's crazy so how does this affect like in your opinion like families Families, uh, as well, uh, lawyers say this all the time that over 50% of their, at least like, it's about 50% of the cases of divorces uh, have been related to pornography and, and pornography related things. So like online, you know, 
I'm seeking out online prostitution or things like that and online dating apps and all that like along with with pornography so and wow. yeah so like when it comes to okay a married couple and guys looking at it you said that the lawyers said yes yep yeah. 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 so how about like teenagers for teenagers, yeah, 99, first of all, 93% of boys by the time they're 18 have been exposed to pornography, 93%. And then- Before six, what age? Before 18. Gosh, dude, that's like almost everybody. Wow. What about girls? So the girls, Teenage. 60. So by the time they're 18, it's 62% have viewed pornography. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Click the link in the description for five free hacks on how to quit pornography and also my Instagram below. God bless. Thank you so much for watching.